I'm Robert Lawson, Gordonsville, Virginia. We're standing on Spring Hill Farm, which was purchased back in 1929. I'm third generation farmer. We're looking at a crop behind us right now, which is uh, sorghum, which was double cropped in behind wheat. Uh, we have been on a liquid program in our fertilizer for 18 years now. I also use the fertilizer plus I sell the fertilizer. Today we're talking about a product that we added into that program is called Actisol. It's an organic humate. Uh, many features about that as, as, as a big plus. Number one, it increases the organic the carbon and that for it holds moisture for the plant to get through a dry spell. Number two, it will flow through the corn planter, through the grain drill or the sprayer, almost like a silicone mix. It, it's very compatible with the fertilizers. Uh, the third thing, it, it chelates that fertilizer where we have an uptake in that plant uh, very quickly uh, once it's applied. Uh, we've noticed also that we're having a, a tilt. Uh, it increases that in the soil and uh, that's, that's a plus to get that organic and the tilt up on that soil. Uh, we've also seen an increase in yields. We're talking about pens on the crop anywhere from 5 to 25 bushels uh, per acre. Uh, we talk about money in your pocket ratios. We're looking at anywhere from today's market, anywhere from 3 to 1, 5 to 1 to 10 to 1 ratio as far as a return on your investment. That's what we, uh, we're just, we, it's just a perfect tool to use now. The price of the grains, uh, the way the uh, weather patterns are, it's a win-win situation. I've been using Acrosol now for about three years and uh, I, I like it more and more all the time. It seems like every year I, I can see something different in the plant. It's growing better, it's it holding moisture, it's, it's uh, the crop just jumps out at me when we get a good rain and these last three years have been hard on us with these droughts and, and uh, I can see a lot of difference in the crops looking at other people's crops and some of theirs burn up and mine didn't burn up and it just held in there until finally we did get sufficient enough rain to, to make it. Yes, uh, this is Freddie Dab. I live in East Bend, North Carolina. And I've been a farmer all my life and all. I've never worked at public work or anything, but uh, we got into using this Atrasol, uh about two years ago, and it has really done a fantastic job. And we, uh, we've we got a bean crop this year that really looks good, and all the whole crop is good, and it's been real hot and dry, and We've, we've really suffered on our corn, but uh, our beans is uh, gonna be fantastic as far as what it's doing. And uh, I really believe that uh, we've used it two years and it has it, it done good last year, but uh, this year it looks like it's even better. And uh, we are gonna keep on using it because it is a product that ain't very expensive and all as far as per acre and it really pays off in my book and especially with these beans as high as they are and on corn it's, it's showing us good results on it because our neighbors is running 15 to 30 bushel to acre and, and we've been running 60 or better and uh, we've had some as high as 100, so that tells me there's it, it, something really kicking it. And all in corner, with the heat, we had uh, 10 days of 105 degree weather, right in pollination and all, and, and uh, ours pollinated a lot better than our neighbors did and all, and I contributed to the atrosol, and uh, it, it's done real great on these beans and all because they went through a lot of heat and stuff too and dry weather and my neighbors asked me said what in the world are you doing on your stuff that we're not doing so they're beginning to wonder what's going on so it's looking great my name is david witt uh, my wife debbie and i operate a farm here in blue ridge we farm about 150 acres this particular farm we're standing on today uh, belonged to my grandfather he started farming here in 1930 uh, we raise uh, black Angus cattle, have a nice herd of Angus cattle. 
we raise enough hay and forage to feed those cattle throughout the winter and also raise some hay to sell for horses. Um, had an opportunity back in March, I uh, was approached by a salesman to use a nutrient enhancer and uh, I went ahead and tried some of that nutrient enhancer on some hay land, some mixed grass hay land that I had. Uh, we actually did a field test and used the competition on part of the field and used the nutrient enhancer on the other part. We applied it uh, directly to triple 19 fertilizer and put it on the hay land in March. Uh, we had a good season in May, a lot of rain and a, a good crop yield and didn't notice any difference between the nutrient enhancer and the competition. Uh, both yielded very well. Uh, after that, uh, summertime set in and as usual around here, it was very hot and very dry in, uh, in July and uh, went ahead and started my second cutting on that field test there and I noticed that the hay that I was cutting with the nutrient enhancer seemed to be yielding better than the competition. So I, I called the uh, factory rep and he come out and ran some tests on it and we got the hay cured and raked and baled and after it was baled there was a significant increase on the hay land with the nutrient enhancer compared to the uh, uh, competition. Also did a test analysis on the uh, on the hay, both fields there and, and the hay that with the nutrient enhancer analyzed very much higher in protein and uh, nutrients. Uh, I really like this product. This is the first year that I've used it. Uh, several things that I like about it. Um, number one, it's made from coal. And uh, this, in these days and times, uh, coal gets a bad rap, you know, for the energy. But this is a good uh, creative way to use the coal. We have coal mines here in Virginia, West Virginia, close by. And I'm excited about using that and helping those guys out there, especially in the ag program here. Um, the next thing I like about uh, the nutrient enhancer is it builds humic acid in the soil. Um, a lot of our land and the farms around us have been farmed for generations and we're finding that the humic acid is very low. By applying this product we can increase the humic acid which uh, enhances the plant, enhances root growth which will take up more moisture. We actually seen that this summer with the crop here in July, the dry weather. Uh, it got more moisture somehow and had to be by enhanced uh, root growth. The other thing that I like about um, the nutrient enhancer um, is that it's organic and anytime you can apply that word organic to your farming operation the public really likes to hear that uh, so that's three things in a row I didn't mention the price the price of the nutrient enhancer is about one-fourth of the competition so that price coupled with my increased production uh, makes uh, quite a bit uh, more profit there on those acres that I serve I'm Tyler Amos. Uh, I raise flu cure tobacco in Franklin County. I have around 70 acres and uh, this is my first year using Actisol. Uh, use it in my transplant water at the rate of a gallon to a gallon to a gallon and a half per acre. Uh, I'm very satisfied with the results. I used it on around 55 to 60 acres I believe and I could tell down to the row where it had it and didn't have it. Um, as of right now, I would say it, using the product, I could say that there's probably a two to 300 pound per acre gain. Um, this behind me had it, was applied at, when I planted the crop. And um, like I say, I'm very satisfied with it. And uh, it's my first year using it and I'm gonna try it on some wheat that we're going to sow next week and see how it works with that. Uh, as, as you know, Dr. Shaban, we, we, we put the benefits of a stone here, uh, the correct nutrition, less cost, and more uh, production rates. So, we promote the physical, chemical, and the biological benefits of the soil uh, and increase the biomass of microorganisms in the soil to increase the fertility of the soil. Also, it is to prevent the leaching of uh, chemical uh, fertilizers through the irrigation water, mainly in the uh, very sand or very 
sand uh, soil, good sand soil. Uh, increase the ability of the plant to benefit from the added fertilizers and increase the ability of the plant uh, for increasing the, the pest salinity, drought stress. Uh, this is uh, most famous. Date farm project of uh, Sali Abdul Rahim establishment with 650 hectares area and round about we have uh, 60,000 farms existing now and uh, in uh, next season we are going to put more 20,000 and this project will be around about 80,000 farms, 80, farms and uh, we are trying so many uh, chemicals here to make vegetative leaf farm is good and uh, they are, uh, make it resistant against the conditions which are here against the, this. Uh, uh, we don't allow us to grow it normally. For example, the salt content and the environmental conditions. And we have tried Actosol also here and we expect some good results. And uh, nowadays we see some vegetative growth is some, some, something promising and we hope that in the future also we will get some good results from it. Though there are problems of salt and uh, water is with salt and soil is with salt and uh, climatic conditions are not favorable. So we need some uh, products which can make plants resistant against these unfavorable conditions. And I feel that Exosol may help us in this.